channel. Today I am going to Aldi grocery shopping, but I have a special guest today. My grandpa is coming with me. He's not been, I think he's been to Aldi one time. It was a quick like in and out to grab something, um, but he's never been actually shopping there. So I'm going to take him and show him kind of the differences between Aldi and other grocery stores and see what he thinks. Hey guys, this is my grandpa Hi here everybody. <laughs> for his first YouTube de debut. Um, I just kind of wanted to ask Grandpa, like, what are some of your thoughts of Aldi? Well, when I originally went in there to try it out, I was uh, had very negative views. Um, it wasn't as glitzy and glamorous as mm -hmm. uh, Kroger or um, Meyer. And we're, my wife and I are real um, brand names are very important to us, mm -hmm. and there was not a lot of brand names. I I kind of walked out never to go back and but I just had an interesting um, and I know my granddaughter went and liked it but okay well that was fine well then uh, she brought us some food um, when my wife was ill and the food was wonderful mm -hmm. and I just you know and my wife really likes soups and the, there was this uh, and it was off-brand soup and we thought oh boy you know but beggars can't be choosers we wanted it you know we needed it we didn't have anything else. Mm -hmm. And my wife tasted it and loved it. It was so good. And then um, I really love steamed broccoli, but it's always been a hassle and I really couldn't find it in Myers. Or and, it's always the butts of the broccoli. Yeah, you know. yeah. And J Julie had bought that for us and, and I put that in and it was tremendous. It tasted mm -hmm. great. So I started thinking, wow, you know, this is um, maybe off brands aren't necessarily, you know, a bad thing. Mm -hmm. So Julia says, let's go shopping, and uh, I said, let's try it. So that, that was my story. That's awesome, yeah. and here we are. So I do want to give you something, Grandpa. It's a quarter. Okay. You're going to need this quarter. All right. <laughs> You'll find out why. Okay. <laughs> Ending our Aldi trip. Alrighty. So that just goes right into there. Okay, that goes in there. Oh, and there's then, our quarter. There's our quarter. Woo! <laughs> cool. All right, and we're back. We just went grocery shopping, got our haul. Yep, we did. And uh, was there anything, Grandpa, that surprised you or that you liked that you didn't think you'd like? Yeah. Um, the uh, my wife really spent a lot of time in Germany, so she likes German. You know pastries and, yeah. and so forth. So there were some German soups, uh, so we, I thought. And there's there's little, little specialty stuff that she would really love in there. Mm -hmm. So I can see using the store for uh, really specialty items that she particularly likes real Trying well. Trying something new yeah. too, almost, the, yeah. The other thing that hit me was that um, it's not, so, for a man, it's not so overwhelming. Like the, yeah. meat, the meat section is very small and it's just like it just makes sense it's just this this and this and yeah that looks fine i'll take it but th the other stores are so overwhelming mm -hmm. especially myers for me um i, I feel overwhelmed mm -hmm. uh, i don't know what i'm getting or what but this was more manageable for me mm -hmm. so. that's what we were talking about was like there was you know we went to the jelly aisle there was like one strawberry jelly there's one or it was preserves that yeah, was something yeah. that's i think one of the downsides too that i've realized you know shopping with you like not that you know like going was that there was a strawberry preserves but there wasn't jelly which is what grandma likes right, right right and so i didn't i didn't pick up on that like the times i've gone but like when you have a list and there's something you really want on there they don't always have it 
Right now, and they but they had a a, a, a grape jelly yeah so there it's it's everything it's just one of each you know which is fine if that's what you need and the prices yeah. were de the prices were definitely um de good. definitely good great yeah prices, yeah yeah but that's one of the things i realized is you can kind of get boxed in if it's like just not what you're looking for you know yeah. but that's cool well we sure. definitely found some good wins and um we'll have to see if grandma likes them and see if the german soups are actually like authentic <laughs> yeah, yeah that'll be fun well, it was fun shopping with you grandpa hey, it was great you. shopping with you i learned a lot and it was a fun outing yes uh, i'm glad so i fun. had her with me <laughs> that was the thing how what did you think about having to bag your own groceries oh yeah i mean you have first <laughs> then you have to pay pay for your bags and uh they put it in the shopping cart for you back into the cart but then you have to buy your bags, which and they're only seven cents each, which yeah. you can bring back again. Yeah. Then there's a, a section, a, a big table area <laughs> where everybody uh, bags their own stuff. And Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> it's oh, definitely different. Okay. Right. okay. Fine. Fine. Adapt, adapt and <laughs> yeah. overcome. Yeah, it was great. That's awesome. Oh, we we'll love it. Do you think you'll come back? Oh, absolutely, sure. Back. Yeah, I, I definitely will. Yeah. yeah. We were talking about that, that. It's really hard to find a one-stop shop. Like, And I find I shop at different, you know, I go around. Yeah. Like, um, another thing we were looking for was root beer, and they only have the one, and it's generic brand. And that's fine. It probably tastes good, but when you have that brand you just love, that's a little bit of a downer, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And, and I know that Myers has certain things that I mm -hmm. really like um, that, that I just have to have. Mm -hmm. And... Same with uh, Elmer's yeah. and so forth. So yeah. Elmer's has some specialty nuts that I like. Yeah. You yeah. just have these little things, and and I don't mind because usually my I'll I'll do an initial shopping, mm -hmm. which I know gets about eighty five percent of it. Then you then after a day or so you see what you've kind of have missed and which you know and then you yeah. can, so and then there's a, a a day that I call cleanup. That's mm -hmm. the last fifteen last 15 percent so yeah that i've only been sense. doing this for about the last maybe i don't know six or seven years yeah so. you're doing good i love it and that's one of the things too like if you find something like okay this one place has a soup that i really like i'll usually when i go like once a month i'll get like 10 of them and then you don't have yeah, to go every week you know that's a great idea but sure. yeah. but yeah all right well thanks guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and we had a co-star this time i love it all right thanks again bye. everybody bye bye